apologize if this video is not as concise as my last Crash Bandicoot video. The only reason why it won't be is because of the fact that I woke up about two hours ago, I showered, and I haven't eaten anything really yet. And I have to stream soon. I'm recording this on Sunday, but it will be up on Monday, so you're watching this on Monday. So, Crash Team Racing Nitro Field has radical entertainment representation in the game with Chicken Stew, the two chicken reporters, being uh, shown off in the stage. And two tag team racing skins there'll probably be more tag team racing skins um with uh for coco and for cortex right now i loved tag team racing i loved the radical era for crash bandicoot um but we can't forget the other eras that are being represented you have radical then you have traveler's tales then vicarious visions then naughty dog of course since this is primarily a remake of crash team racing on the ps1 so my point is, just because you don't like a certain era for Crash Bandicoot does not mean that the developers are going to have the same thought process. The Radical era is still a part of the Crash series. It is still source material, essentially. So they don't care. Um, we have Crunch, who represents Traveler's Tales. We have Icarus Vision's characters. And Nitro Kart tracks that represent the Vicarious Visions era. And we have the Radical era as mentioned earlier. And we have the Naughty Dog era. So basically this game is not catering to one part of the fan base. I'm not going to call it a community because it's mad divided and it's annoying. What's also annoying is this whole True Crash 4 shit. Now I don't know who thought of this. But whoever did needs to take a nerf dart to the bullet. Nerf dart to the bullet. Whoever thought of this needs to take a nerf dart to the head. Because it doesn't make any damn sense at all. The Insane Trilogy was merely marketed as three PS1 games remade from the ground up. Nothing more, nothing less. I understand that The Wrath of Cortex is not the greatest game of all time. It's not even a good game. But, just like in your life in general, you're going to have bad experiences that you're going to need to learn and grow from. So at the Wrath of Cortex, objectively speaking, mostly anyway, Crash games did get better. So, my point is, Wrath of Cortex is Crash 4 and you need to accept it. And the fact that they have Crunch Bandicoot in there, who debuted it in Crash Bandicoot for the Wrath of Cortex, already says a lot. So no matter what you think of certain games, be it Crash, Wrath of Cortex not being a true Crash 4 or the Radical games not being real, true, or good Crash games, even though they are. In fact, I'm going to go off a, a bit on a tangent here and just mention that in Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back, you start off by helping Coco, right? Right, okay. And in Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back, you have the digging mechanic ability, right? Right. And in Crash 2 Entranced on the Game Boy Advance, there's Evil Crunch and Evil Coco, right? Okay, so guess what Mind of a Mutant does in the beginning of the game? Right off the bat, you're helping Coco get our Capacitron pieces. And then, even in the beginning, on your way near Coco's house, you can dig underground. And then, not too long after that, you have to save Coco and Crunch because they're being brainwashed by the Envies, which causes them to be, oh, guess what? Evil Crunch and Evil Coco. Yet they're still bad Crash games, right? That makes so much sense to me. Guys, I'm just glad that all eras are being represented. I'm just glad all the source material is being represented. I'm glad the Radical Entertainment era is being represented because that era should not be forgotten. And I'm glad Chicken Stew are back. I'm glad there are skins for the characters from Tag Team Racing coming back. I'm glad that they're using Wampa Coins from Tag Team Racing. I'm just, I'm glad, all right? I'm just happy about it. Because, for real, that era of Crash does not need, does not deserve the slander that it gets. Because it's overlooked. It's very overlooked. But I'm done making this video. Okay, I wanted to make this very brief. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll, I'll see you guys later. Peace.